Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our county food pantry. They allow you to come in twice a month, one day to shop where you get to pick and choose what you want, and then another day where they give you set items. So today was the pick and choose day. Um, I will show you this in kind of rounds since it doesn't all fit on my counter and that makes it not quite so crowded. Um, all right, we're a family of seven. I have five children, 12 and under. Um, my husband just recently left his job of 14 years because uh, it was directly affected by the virus that's going around and new regulation and all of that and started a new career. And because of that, um, we are in a season of needing to use food banks. Uh, not something we ever thought we would do. Um, never went into this having five children thinking that we would need assistance because we never did before. But the world is a changing. So because of that, like I said, we're hitting food banks. Um, and this has been a huge, huge, huge blessing to us on making ends meet and making things happen. So um, yeah, let me show you what we were blessed with today. Um, in the back, there are three bags of these chicken sweet potato bites, and they have a bunch of, like, veggies and some quinoa thrown in there. Um, it's kind of one of those uh, veggies hidden inside kind of things. Um, and they, I was only supposed to get one bag, but I was one of the last ones in today, and so he just had me go ahead and take the rest of them, and it's just three bags. This is a locally raised, locally processed chicken, and it's cut up in parts. Um, I have it flipped over so you can't see where it was processed. Sorry, for privacy reasons, I choose not to let know where we are, but that's why it's flipped over and you can't see what it is. Um, there is, I got to pick a thing out of a box of meats and there was this thing of baby back ribs. I have never in my life cooked baby back ribs because that price right there is why I've never bought them before. Um, but it's one of those where this going to the food bank has allowed us to, to get some things that I've never made before because, yeah, there's no way I would have ever bought um, ribs before. Um, so if you have a good rib recipe, let me know. Um, I would love to try it and see you. Yum. Uh, my husband will be stupendously excited about that one. Um, they also had earlier in the month, they were giving out Christmas bags with kind of like everything you need to make a Christmas dinner or at least a lot of the stuff that you would need. Um, and I was not able to go in on that date because we were sick. Um, so they still had some left and this was one of the things that was in it is a couple of ready to carve fully cooked hams. So those will definitely get used and yum. Okay. There's two dozen eggs, two things of this multi-seed, multi-grain bread. My kids really, really like these, um, we don't eat a whole lot of bread, so I'll throw those in the freezer and then we'll bust them out later as we need it. Um, a thing of um, hot dog buns, and then you get to pick out one dessert. And so I picked out, or my, I let my littlest, well, my second to littlest pick out um, these donuts, and he picked these birthday cake ones. They also, like I said, we were the last ones in there. Um, there was only one people behind us and they were closing in like five minutes. And so they actually sent us home with three very large boxes, like thick banana boxes of, um, bread that was stale or slightly moldy or was going to go bad before the next food pantry, because this is Thursday and the next food pantry isn't again until Tuesday. And so, um, they try to work with local farmers that if they've got bread that's going to go bad, rather than throwing it away, they try to work with people that have chickens or something like that. So that's what they did is they sent us home with three boxes. It just happened that we were there at the right time. So now my chickens have um, stale bread to eat for the next week or so. Um, it's a lot of bread. So it's just one of those where every morning we throw out like a few loaves of bread. Um, so that's one of those where it's going to go in the dumpster. They have no way of getting it to anybody else in time before it goes bad. So, hey, we get to feed our chickens. It, it actually saves us money. So, you know, win-win situation there. There's also two bags of this um, granola. Um, my kids really like having granola on their yogurt, so um, I was completely out, and we actually had yogurt this morning, and they didn't have any. And I just got a bunch of milk at that one mobile pantry, so uh, I'm making, I already made yogurt yesterday. 
Um, there's two of these. Okay, the produce, they always have the produce out on a rack, and you can take as much as you want because it's going to go bad kind of thing. So I picked up two of these big bags of um, overgrown misshapen carrots that I will use just fine. Um, a bag of apples, and I thought I got a, bag, a second bag of apples, and I didn't, and I wish I had. Um, so yeah, and then I got two bags of onions, which was awesome because I'm out. Um, and then a pack of these little cherry grape tomatoes, whatever. Um, and we've already busted into those because my kids are in the living room they're eating lunch while I'm doing this. That's how it's quiet. All right, I will pause this and go get the next round of stuff. All right, round two, and this is the last round. Um, these, they had these out front, um, and so they always have a table outside of the building that they put things that they just need to get rid of. Like you're allowed to take as much as you want They're for whatever reason they're out there because they're expired or, um, they have an overabundance of them, or it's like the last few little things that they're trying to get rid of. So they had all of these, sorry, I didn't count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, um, they had 13 boxes of these almond flour, pumpkin muffin, or bread, depending on what you want to do with them. Um, like I said, I was one of the last people, and I double-checked before I did it and said, is it okay if I take all of these? And she's like, yes, please do. These expired in August, I think was the date on them, August or September. Um, so I went ahead and took all of them because muffins are one of those where I can make up a couple of boxes of these at a time, even up to three boxes, and my kids will eat them before they go bad. Um, for breakfasts is a big one. I serve it with some eggs, these, and a fruit, and you're good. Um, and then also I have figured out that every Saturday I make sourdough pancakes for my kids and my husband for breakfast. And I do a half batch of my sourdough pancake recipe and then one of these boxes. And then I add in like a little bit of pumpkin spice or allspice or cinnamon or something like that. And my kids love them, devour them. Um, so you could take your base recipe for pancakes and use something like a boxed pan or yeah, for your pancakes and use a boxed um, muffin mix and then just go ahead and mix up. I follow the directions on the back for making the muffins on how much to add eggs, water, oil, that kind of thing. And then just adjust the water amount and or add milk to it or whatever. And you get some yummy tasting pancakes that go a little bit further. So if you're hitting up food banks and you see muffin mixes, that's another way of using them besides just muffins. Um, and it's a little bit quicker than muffins, too, on the cooking them. And I would assume you could use that to make waffles as well. Don't hold me to that because I haven't tried it. So that's why I picked up 13 boxes of muffin mix is because they're expired. They want them gone. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. Um, yeah, my kids will love me. Um, I picked uh, chocolate chips off the shelf because we do chocolate chips a lot. Um, oatmeal in pancakes, in, um, yeah, various things. Um, these Belveda biscuits, my kids love these. They go in the snack box and they pick these over so many other things. Um, they have shelves of canned goods and they have a separate shelf for larger families. Families, I think it's like five people or above are allowed to pick from those. And they have bigger cans of stuff. Like we're talking like a number 10 can of nacho cheese, um, number 10 can of green beans, those kind of things. So that's why these two cans are a little bit bigger. I was able to pick off of that shelf. So I did a refried bean, um, taco night, and then um, some pear halves. There's two cans of black beans, two cans of green beans, two cans of applesauce, which I love the fact that it's unsweetened. Um, a thing of Alfredo sauce for a quick and easy dinner some night. There are several cans of, let's see, six cans of this um, chicken, which I just used it last night to make chicken nuggets. You'll see that in a future what we eat for dinner meal video. Um, so those have so many uses right there. Um, that's why I always pick those up. Nice, quick and easy dinners, lunches, whatnot. A big thing of ketchup. Again, that was on the big shelf. Um, this was a choice. I was so ecstatic to see this. I have been wanting to try this as a, um, probably type 2 diabetic. I haven't been officially tested, so I don't want to say that. Um, but yeah, I'm type 2 diabetic. Um, 
I have to watch my carbs, and so I eat a low-carb diet, and because of that, barbecue sauce is usually out, or I have to use just a small amount, so I was so excited to see this sugar-free barbecue sauce, um, and everybody in, like, keto groups raves about this one, so I'm super excited to try it. Um, some apple juice, which I will use to make water kefir, which is a probiotic drink that my kids love. This was in that bag of um, things for Christmas dinner bag. Uh, so two boxes of all gratin potatoes. Um, I have not made those in forever, so my kids will get to try something that they haven't tried in a long time. Um, and then that's also nice that they're shelf-stable because, yeah, nice. Um, I picked up this box of Keto Fat Bomb Meal Replacement Bars. I tried one on the way home. I'm not sure. <laughs> they got a weird taste to them. Um, it's not normally something I buy, um, like meal replacement type bars, but yeah. <coughs> I figured I would give it a try. Um, I'm just not sure about them. Um, I'm going to swing back here. There's a bag of pure cane sugar that I picked up. <coughs> Sorry. We're getting over a cold. These two were things on that big family shelf that I was able to choose from. So I got two big things of peanut butter. And this one's giant. It's 64 ounces. It's four pounds of peanut butter. But my kids really, really love peanut butter. And this is my go-to cheap if they're still hungry after a meal or before a snack or after a snack or whatever, um, I will send them in for a spoonful of peanut butter as just a quick and easy something to fill them up. It's fat, it's protein, and it's carbs. It's a nice, perfect little combination. They have a shelf full of drinks, and um, depending on when you're in there, sometimes it's you can pick two things per member of your household. Sometimes you can pick three, or sorry, one. So today was a pick one thing per member of your household, so that's seven of us. I picked four of these um, black cherry sparkling water. This is my soda alternative. <coughs> Sorry again. And then um, my kids talked me into trying these. I don't think they've ever had these before. It's essentially just Kool-Aid in a little, you know, container. So I figured that would be a nice little treat at some point in time to use. Um, <clears throat> you get to pick out some non-food items. So I picked a thing of Band-Aids because I have five kids and... Three of them are boys, and we live in the country, and they're boys. So, <laughs> yeah, enough said. A roll of toilet paper, and then they also have their diaper pantry. And that always comes with 10 to 15 diapers, a pack of wipes, and then a kid's book. And then inside the bag is also a, um, a group of papers that are resources for um, local things to hit up. Numbers, food banks, um, clothing banks, um like head start type programs um uh yeah just all that kind of thing so it kind of gives you a, a place to go if you are needing a little bit more help elsewhere as well so um yeah that's everything i am going to put this stuff away and then i'm going to go eat some lunch and then i'm seriously going to go take a nap because this mama is tired we are all getting over this cold <sighs> okay so I hope you have an absolutely brilliant day. Goodbye and God bless.